to begin, all you need is something to lay on. It could be a mat, it could be a blanket, it could be just the floor, whatever is comfortable. A few other things that could be beneficial to have would be a yoga block, um, and then something like a strap or sock or sweater or towel, something that you can um, hold between both hands for a few poses. Those aren't necessary, those are just options. All right, so to start, we're just gonna do a little bit of breathing and a little bit of moving through the body to A, warm up the body, and to also just kind of move the muscles, the joints around a little bit, uh, and then we'll do some stretches. All right, so let's start. We're gonna start on our backs. And just find a comfortable position. You can lie flat, you can have knees bent. And we're just gonna take a few moments just to breathe. So for this breath, inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And let those exhales be an audible sigh. It doesn't have to be loud, it's just loud enough for you to hear. I'm just taking a moment to check in with the body here as you're breathing. Scan from head to toes, going one part at a time, just to see how you're feeling physically, and making note of any parts of the body you want to be gentle with. Always listen to the body, let it guide you through the poses of anything. If it hurts in a way that to you does not seem right, Ready, let's stretch arms over the head and just reach from fingers to toes. And then we're going to move through alternating knees to chest. So on an exhale, draw one knee in towards the chest, place hands behind the knee joint on the thigh. And we'll inhale arms and that leg back out. And exhale the opposite knee in. We're just going to do a few of these on both sides. Go with the breath. Let's inhale and exhale through the nose as much as you can, and let the breath be deep. Don't feel like you need to rush. Let's find one more on both sides. the last one. Let's draw both knees in to knees to chest. Hands are behind the knees right on the thigh. And just take a moment and massage the back. Rocking side to side. Let the head and neck go with the body. And then let's come back to center. We're going to switch to hip and knee circles. So place hands to the outside of the knees and can be still kind of under the knee if you want. And on an inhale, let knees fall open, and we'll start to drop feet towards the mat. Before we bring them all the way to the mat, we'll bring knees back together and exhale knees to chest. All right, and we're just moving through the hips, so focusing this movement on the hips. Don't worry about needing to extend the legs or anything like that. circles in the opposite direction. Still going with the breath, inhaling as the knees move away, exhaling as they come back towards the chest. Find one more. a little bit so you can let the knees fall together. Arms can just rest by your side. And we're going to switch to a head neck tilt. So on an exhale, just turn the head to one side. And go back to center. Exhale to the other side. And just going with the 
breath side to side. One more on both sides. And then let's come back to center and we're going to switch to a bridge flow. So walk the feet so they are about hip socket distance, two to three inches between the feet, ankles, and knees are one with hip sockets. Hands are beside our hips. On an inhale, lift the hips straight up as high as feels comfortable. And on an exhale, roll back down a little vertebra at a time. Just continuing with the breath at strong pace. Find one more on both sides. We'll come back to center. And then let's go ahead and roll on to one side. And let's use hands to come up and around to all fours. Feel free to add some cushion under the knees here too. I have this little meditation pad that can be helpful, but you can use anything as long as it's stable. So it can be blanket, can roll up the mat. Be a pillow. Make sure uh, joints are stacked, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. If you happen to be protecting wrists or they need a little less pressure, you can use fists for wrists. Palms turned towards one another for that option. And we're just going to move through cat cow. So we'll start with cat on the exhale, rounding through the spine. We'll inhale, cow curving through the spine. Good, and just going with the breath, always moving from the tailbone to the head. Really focus on the mid back here. Don't feel like you need to take the spine to the full rounding or a back bend. One more on both sides. And then let's come back to center and we're going to switch to spinal balance. And so on an inhale, we're going to take the right arm and the left leg out in line with the spine. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach from fingertips to heel and on the exhale, release. We'll switch sides, same thing on the other side. And try to avoid lifting the leg or arm higher than the back. It's almost like if your back was right up against the ceiling, that's how high you're going to lift that arm and leg, just to touch the ceiling. Let's 
find one more on both sides. And then after the last one, let's come back to all fours. We're gonna switch to a different twist. So let's bring the right hand to the back of the head. And on an inhale, we're just gonna take that right elbow to the sky as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, take the right elbow towards the front left forearm. And we'll inhale back up and just continue a few times. Let's do one more. And then after the last one, we'll switch. Same thing on the other side. One more. And then after the last one, we'll come back to all fours. And let's go ahead and sink hips to one side. And we're gonna come around to seated. So this is an easy seated pose here. And then from here, we're gonna hold a few stretches. So let's start with lateral flexion. We're gonna sweep the right arm up. The other hand can come to the mat. And just reaching as far as feels comfortable. Pay attention to the shoulder. We're looking for the stretch here, so don't feel like you need to go too far. Focus on reaching up more than over. Just breathe into the stretch there. And on an exhale, release. Let's switch sides. Same thing, other side. And then exhale, release. Come back down. And we're going to switch to eagle arms. So for this, bring arms out in front. We're just going to cross one over the other. And you have some options. You can find a hug. You can. Uh, wrap the arms or stack them. Just try to keep the wrists in neutral. And we're looking for the stretch between the shoulder blades here. So uh, think about lifting the elbows so they're not coming down towards the chest if you have this full eagle arm version. But in any variation, just breathe into that space between the shoulder blades. Next exhale, let's release and just switch. Other arm on top, same thing. Any of those variations will work. On the exhale, let's release. We're gonna to switch to chest expansion, so bringing hands behind us. Clasp hands, or you can hold any object you have between them, whichever feels best for you. Listen to your shoulders and uh, wrists once again. If you are clasping the hands, try and bring the palms together so you have a nice neutral wrist as opposed to a bent wrist. So the difference between this and this, basically. <laughs> it's hard to show in the front. But reaching the fingertips or knuckles or, or object either down towards the floor or out behind you, whichever feels best. And just breathing into the shoulders, breathing into the chest. And then on an exhale, let's release. Next, we're gonna to switch to a cow face stretch. So there are a few different options here. The first one, uh, well, all variations, you're gonna sweep the right arm up, bend the elbow, bring the hand towards the upper back. And then you can stay like this. You could bring the left hand up to the right elbow and you could also take the left hand behind the back, reaching fingertips towards one another. For this option, you can also place something behind the back and hold on to that, or if hands come together, you can hold on to that, or clothes. This variation is what's gonna open the chest the most, but any of them will give you some benefit. So just holding here for a few deep breaths. Trying to sit nice and tall, still reaching through the top of the head. Next exhale, let's release. Let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Left arm up, 
bend the elbow. Again, you can stay like this. You can bring the right hand to the left elbow or sweep the right arm behind the back the opposite direction, reaching fingertips to fingertips. Feel free to hold an object between them if you want. Try and keep the spine nice and long and straight and just breathe into that stretch of the arms, the shoulders, the chest. Uh, let's just let one ear drop towards the same shoulder. Sitting here, thinking about reaching through the top ear so the spine continues to stay nice and straight. And then on the next inhale, use a hand on the side of the head to tilt the head back to center, and we'll continue to the other side. Same thing here. Let's use a hand on the side of the head to tilt back to center. Now we're going to look over one shoulder, tilt the chin down towards that shoulder, and hold here. You can also take the other hand and reach it out towards the mat a little bit, just looking to add stretch there through the neck and shoulder. Next, inhale, come back up, turning back to center, and switch sides, same thing. Drop the chin down towards the shoulder once you've looked over it, and hold here. chin drop to the chest, keeping the rest of the spine nice and long and straight, holding here. Now let's use two fingers on the forehead to tilt the head back to center. And then from here, we're just going to fold the whole body over the legs, just as far as feels comfortable. And just find a few deep breaths. If you want to, halfway through this, you can also switch which leg is on top. Same thing, just so it feels a bit more even, but that's just an option. up as high as feels comfortable. Squeeze the inner thigh a little bit to keep knees in line with hip sockets and keep your gaze to the sky as much as you can. This is where you could use the option of a block or something with some stability for a supported bridge. For that, the block goes under the sacrum. So it's right there at the top of the glutes, base of the spine where the spine is fused. The block should be a little bit below the low back or whatever you might be resting on. And you can do this at any height. It doesn't have to be this height. If you have a block, it has three different ones or you can just continue to hold the pose. Either option works. They're just a little different, but they're gonna give you the same benefits. Our next exhale, let's go ahead and roll back to the mat one vertebra at a time. We're gonna come back to knees to chest, and you can either just hold the pose here, or you can rock side to side a little bit if you like.
All right, from here, we're gonna to switch to a twist. So let's roll on to the right side and then let the left shoulder open back to the mat behind you, taking arms out to a T. You can keep the knees bent or extend the legs for more intensity. It's really whichever feels best for you. Next exhale, come back to center. And then from here, we're gonna to switch to a supported uh, butterfly. So roll onto one side and use hands just to come up for a moment. You could have prepared this before if you've already watched the video as well. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use my mat. You can do the same, you could use a blanket, but basically what you wanna do is roll it up. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, once you have your rolled up mat, we're gonna lay this on the floor and you're gonna put your spine along this rolled up mat or blanket. If you use a blanket, just make sure that it has some density to it. <clears throat> just a little hold up. And then what you wanna do is bring one of the short edges right to the tailbone. We're just gonna lay back on it and adjust as you need to so the head can be on there as well. You can place something else under the head if you need to. And then just let the knees fall open, bringing the soles of feet together. If having the legs open like this, unsupported if they're kind of lifted off the floor and it's uncomfortable you can always place something under the knees it could be a blanket towel pillow just so everything's supported so it's up to you but we're just going to stay in this pose for a little bit you can let arms rest wherever feels comfortable but this should let the whole body open up a little bit And we're going to use this also as just a moment to kind of come back to the breath. Finding those deep breaths, kind of calming the mind, helping to release the body will help as well. Just getting oxygen to all the muscles can help kind of open things up, loosen them out. And also just gaining that awareness of when the body is tight can be helpful. So just take a few moments here. Don't feel like you need to go anywhere. Just be here. Focus on the senses. Focus on what you hear. It can be anything. It can be somebody outside. It can be a fan. Some music. Just try and breathe deep and let the body release into this pose as much as you can. One more deep breath here. On the exhale, bring the legs back together. When you're ready, just rolling off of the mat or whatever you're laying on. And use hands to come up to seated. And once here, just taking a moment, checking back in with the body. Let's inhale both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart. enjoyed this I hope it helps um, and feel free especially all the poses that we held all the stretches you can hold those longer than that as well 
Um, you can make this a little longer, you can extend everything out a little bit if you want, or you can truncate it. Um, if you want to do one or the other, I'd actually recommend doing the movement um, more than the stretches, or at least doing some of the movement first, because that helps to kind of loosen up the body, um, especially when you're sitting a lot. So those are the things I would recommend. Um, and then like I said at the beginning, just listen to the body, don't do anything that feels uncomfortable. You're going to know your body the best. So these poses are general things that can work. These movements are general things that can work. They're kind of an overview of everything that you could focus on for the back. Um, but take, take and leave what works best for you. Just listen to the body and you should be good. But uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>